Raider Nation News. Welcome back to this month's edition of Raider Nation News. In this month's edition, we'll hear about what the band and choir have been up to, get an update from the elementary school, and see a leprechaun hunt. We'll also take a look at speech and knowledge build, get a little insight from Dr. Godfrey, and check out a final recap of our winter sports. Let's start with winter sports. I would say some of our primary objectives for the off season, um, improving a lot of our offensive skill work, um, kind of related around ball handling, shooting, footwork, pivoting, um, reading defense, um, so we can um, try and put some more points up on the board next season. Uh, working the off season, there's a lot to. There's always a lot to every, every year. Uh, one thing that sticks out for me, uh, two things majorly, um, and the girls will know this for sure: free throws. Um, our, our free throw percentage was absolutely horrendous this year for whatever reason, and uh, creating off the shot um, or being able to catch off the screen and, and hit shots. I feel like um, as a team this year, we lacked somebody that probably could hit a, hit a shot when you'd be coming off a screen or a dribble or an action off of a play and being able, able to make, make that shot. So, I mean, but that's that's for every 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 team every year uh, shooting um, by far in the free throws. I would say uh, some of my favorite highlights of the season, uh, just a level of improvement um, from everybody. We got better every single day. Uh, we had a lot of people uh, step up into multiple different roles um, on a nightly basis. And academically, um, our team had a 3.4 GPA, so it was really nice to see our team dedicate themselves to the classroom first. Um, highlights for the year for me that stick out would probably be our search after uh, Christmas break where we went on a big win streak. Knocked off a lot of quality teams during that that stretch there, um, and I think we really were playing really good basketball. Um, a couple other things, probably Izzy Wilson scoring a thousand career points. Uh, that's a really a big accomplishment for for any program um, for throughout the year. Um, right, just how how we grew as, as a year. I always look for for growth uh, from the start of the season to the end of the season. I feel like we grew in every every aspect of the game. So um, those probably be some some main points for me. I can't think of one peer uh, funny moment of, of the year. I, I would say um, practice in general, we kind of keep things loose once on. You know, there's a lot of jokes that are cracked or making fun of each other, making fun of myself, uh, per se. Uh, I, I guess there's not one thing that can really stick out in my mind. I would say our funniest moment, um, it happened when I first got here. Uh, we went to Wisconsin Dells um, this past summer. Uh, Drew Harris decided to uh, jump in the hotel water fountain that was in the lobby. At, uh, at the water park that we went to.
that was a great recap of our winter sports season. I would have to agree. Now let's see what they've been up to at the elementary school. That looked like fun. Don't you wish we still had days like that? I sure do. If I could, I'd go back to those days in a heartbeat. The band and choir have been busy this month. Let's see what they've been up to. This month, the LPA band and choirs have been busy with contests at MSUM in mid-March. With a brass ensemble, Jazz band. Women's choir. Solo by Lydia Howe and Isabella Briard. And the rate of popular, all competing in a contest and getting the high scores, and many are going on to the state. Varsity Band had a concert with all the pieces that happened at the contest and also performed three larger pieces. Walking Tune, Amazing Grace, What musical talent we have here at LPA. I heard our band was even awarded a grant so they could get a new drum set. That's so cool. Let's hear more about that. Since 2017, the Lake Agassiz Concert Band has awarded the Allegro Grant to any school band program within 40 miles of Fargo-Moorhead. The Allegro Grant is a $1,000 award given to a school band program for any project, program, or improvement needs. This year, Lake Park Audubon was awarded the Allegro Grant after submitting a video showing the dire need to replace a percussion set. This year's winner is going to be none other than you guys, Lake Park Audubon. Yeah. shows a story about a school who is looking to replace their drum set and they showed that it is in a lot of disrepair. The bass drum had a huge crack in it, drum hardware is missing, a whole cymbal was missing, a crack in a cymbal, the whole thing was, uh, it had seen a better day. And so, with that, 
uh, we decided that that was the way that we were going to do the most good. And with that, I would like to ask my assistant to come out, Natalie, with the big check, and ask a couple representatives uh, from Lake Park Audubon High School. And That will be a great addition to our band program. It sure will be. The knowledgeable and speech teams have been busy with their meets this winter. Let's take a look at Carson's update on how their seasons have gone. On March 29th, the speech team went to DGF High School to compete in subsections. Shaylin Taylor walked out with first place for poetry, Chloe Hendrickson was second in drama, and Mara Besci got third in humor. Sections will take place April 12th in Faustin. The Knowledge Bowl team had meets at Concordia College and in Fergus Falls. The highest team finished within the top third of teams at both meets. Looks like they are having a great season. Good luck to the speech team at their section competition. Now it's time for our monthly conversation with Superintendent Dr. Godfrey. Dr. Godfrey, thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. I heard about how LPA is looking into Raider Academy. Can you explain what that is? Sure. So it's a personalized competency-based learning platform. What it is is students will be able to do all their core work online, and then they'll do elective classes in the classroom with their peers. Um, it'll enable students to go as fast as they can through the, the content um, and finish uh, through the school year faster, add more classes on, or take more time if they need to. Um, also, we, we're looking at capping it at 10 students for next year, and this is upon board approval. Uh, we'll have some criteria for that, and it's a way to kind of pilot it and see if it works for Lake Park Audubon. Raider Academy looks like something I wish I could have had during school. I heard that Day of Caring is coming back to LPA. Yes, so Day of Caring right now is scheduled for May 4th with uh, an alternate date of May 11th. Of course, the weather is not predictable around here lately, so that needs to happen, then uh, we'll move it to May 11th. What is the process for getting on the list of Day of Caring? So we have forms in the office. You can go right down and talk with Miss Susie, or you can go to churches. Uh, I've got a list here. Lake Park City Center, Audubon City Offices, Cormorant Store, they all have the proposal forms. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, fill out the form and we'll get you on the list. How are the building stages going with the new referendum that was passed this November? So far, uh, we are, we're what we call the design development phase. So we've gone through uh, several groups of people, you know, teachers and staff, who have come up with design ideas, and now they're drawing the, the dimensions of the building. So they have the design documents. The next phase is the construction document phase, which means that's where it goes to bid for the variety of contracted uh, jobs that they have. Right now, they, at the elementary, they've done what's called boring, so they've dug these holes in the ground to see what the substrate is, to see as they build on it if they need to reinforce that. Um, we've talked about the, uh, the CTE wing here. We've got a pretty good design there. I'm working with a company in Minnesota about our new greenhouse as well and should have that uh, about ready uh, for design phase two. So we're moving along. Hopefully fall is when they break dirt over at the elementary. Thank you, Dr. Godfrey, for coming for this month's edition of Raider Nation News. We hope to see you again next month. You bet. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Dr. Godfrey, for your insight. Finally, let's see what adventures our local leprechaun has been up to.
Do you have a clue for me? Um, if you can solve that math problem. Gentlemen, we got him. Well, that was an interesting way to round off this edition of Raider Nation News. I would have to agree, and thank you for watching. Make sure to come back next month to stay caught up with everything happening at LPA. Raider Nation News.